Welcome to Bulldog Canyon. This is located in the Tonto National Forest, which, fun fact, is the fifth largest national forest in the United States. And the reason I'm here is to scout out locations for dispersed camping. Bulldog Canyon has tons of dispersed camping. Completely free and all you need to do is go on the National Forest website and apply for a permit. The permit is free and it's good for six months. There are three different entrances to Bulldog Canyon, which is also an OHV recreation area. So it's a bit noisy, but the south entrance is closer to the Superstition Wilderness, just north of Apache Junction. And I have been over there in the past. Um, there are definitely places to camp, spots. You can get in there a fairly good distance, even in a front wheel drive car like I have. The problem is it's so close to town that it attracts a lot of uh, shenanigans and stuff. So I did not really enjoy camping over that way. The north entrance to Bulldog Canyon is up off of Bush Highway and that is a great place for dispersed camping. I stayed there also a couple years ago and the road into the canyon for two or three miles is pretty flat and packed down in washboard and you can definitely drive a front wheel drive car on that side of the canyon for a couple of miles. So you can really get in off the road and find a fairly remote location. I definitely enjoy camping over there. The trouble with camping over there is that it's even more remote. It's just further away from the city. So it wouldn't be a good spot to choose to stay on a long-term basis. So today I'm at the third entrance, which is the west entrance to the canyon. And I have decided that if I'm going to stay anywhere, just to get out of town and get away, um, and have some nights in the wilderness and the roof nest, this is gonna be the perfect entrance because it's only about a 35 minute drive from here to the hospital that I'm gonna be working at, which is fantastic. One of the best things about Bulldog Canyon is that when you're out here, it is surrounded by and immersed in tons of great hiking trails. You got the Maricopa County Trail, which is over 300 miles long. And that trail, you can pick it up right at the entrance. 
and just to the south of this entrance is the Usury Mountain Park, also with tons of great hiking. Out in the east, you've got the Superstition Wilderness, filled with great hiking, and the Arizona Trail goes through there. And even, you could just walk the forest roads. You just have to watch out for the recreational vehicles. Right now, I'm on the EJ Peak Trail, which is two miles round trip and climbs on top of Lone Mountain. Bull Duck Canyon is shared by pretty much everybody. Hikers, mountain bikers, the four-wheel drive crowd, the ATV crowd, dirt bikes, and horses. It's a really cool, fun recreation area for everybody. I think the only thing missing is a water feature. That mountain, that red mountain, that's called Red Mountain. That's probably got another name as well. It's on native land and you used to be allowed to hike on it, but it's got native hieroglyphs and people were just trashing it and destroying it. And so now it is banned to everybody, including tribal people. And it is dubbed the best hike that you will never be allowed to do. My guess is people still do it, but if you get caught doing it, you're trespassing and I'm sure that I've read somewhere that there's a hefty fine and even jail time. So I will admire it from afar. Another pro for staying here at this entrance to the canyon is it's pretty close to Mesa and provisions. You don't have to drive very far to resupply and things like that. The cons for this entrance are that the road is super, super sandy. And I came out here yesterday and drove in and I couldn't get very far with my low clearance for, um, I don't have four wheel drive, uh, front wheel drive Honda Fit because the further in I went, the closer I got to getting stuck in the sand, and that would just <laughs> not be fun at all. So it's not that peak, but it gets this one. I left my trekking poles in the car, and I'm kind of regretting that. Oh well. I don't know where this is taking me. Maybe it is that first peak. down there. Oh, and I even see a Jeep. That looks like fun. The only other con that I can think of at this point for staying on this side of Bulldog Canyon is that it is right across the street from the Usury Mountain gun range. So it's a little bit loud with people doing target practice at the gun range, but eh, what are you gonna do? You're not in the middle of the wilderness and 
for where it's at, it's beautifully situated. Made it. Turns out it's actually more like 2.4 miles round trip. And man, this is such a beautiful spot. As a lookout, you can see the north entrance to Bulldog Canyon from up here. And I'm pretty sure I can see people. It's a little bit chilly up here, so I'm gonna head back down. And I may just walk along the sand road for a minute to see if I can't get my car in a little bit further. I met a couple at the top with some really cute cattle dogs. <clears throat> and, oops, the Guy said that I could probably pick up some Max tracks to throw in the car. And that's what people use to get themselves unstuck from sand. So I'm gonna look into that. Back in the canyon on the forest road. And I'm gonna check out the road to see how far I could get in here in my car. There's lots of great turnouts that you could bring your vehicle for camping, but the sand on this road is pretty deep and I would not feel confident driving my little fit in here. Although, it does seem a little bit firmer than when I tried to drive in here yesterday. That's why people have four wheel drive. And I mean, even with four wheel drive, sand is tricky and I do think you need to always have those max tracks on hand because of just getting stuck. This spot right here, particularly, I feel like I'm sinking into the sand and that's just on my own two feet. That's just only, you know, 138 pounds. It's not a one ton vehicle. So, I'm gonna go back in the other direction. Well, I'm going back in the other direction to see what I can see down that way. Not sure how they managed to get that up here, other than they have a big four by four pickup truck that tows it. But even that, I think, even a camper, I'm pretty sure that could get stuck in the sand. Back at the car. So there are a handful of places that I could drive into and stay at. I'm gonna run up to the north entrance of Bulldog Canyon because that is a very nice, forest road. 
fantastic and I know for a fact there's places to stay up there and I just want to see how far it is. The people that I met on the top of the mountain said that it's only like another 10 minutes from here. So I'm gonna go check that out. Anyway, that was a fun excursion and I'll see you guys again next time.